the saggy flesh. Ooh, that was my reaction. Uh, if you like the video, uh, like, rate, five stars, like the video, subscribe, you know, do all of that. Uh, get the hell out of my video, please. I don't want you here. Initially, I was gonna have, like, an actual reaction thing uh, going on, but then I watched it. The video was unsalvageable. It was just not entertaining to watch. This is what I liked. This is what I didn't like about the trailer. Real quick, this is proof that I am... Um, a Sonic fan, as you can see. I have games over there. You can't see them, but just assume that they're there. I have all the games right in front of me. Every single one of my games, you know, I could just... There you go. There. Yeah, I show them. First thing that I like is uh, the fact that this trailer finally exists. The edging was getting a little insufferable, and it's just great to finally get a look at what the movie is actually going to be like. I appreciate very much, as in comparison to, like, all those other franchises that are dead, that we're even getting any type of Sonic movie. Eggman's belly is another thing. The action was tight, I enjoyed the section where Shadow destroys the shit out of those three people. It was very satisfying to watch Tails in particular get BTFO'd. That was nice. Uh, the CGI in general is top tier here. There's one section where Shadow does the uh, Akira bike slide, you've probably seen it already. It feels A on par with Sonic 2, and be maybe even a little bit better. Many VFX experts do watch my videos, so please uh, confirm that. Hearing Live and Learn was cool. It wasn't the whole thing, it was like an orchestral version, uh, but just hearing the, the song did kind of hype me up a little bit, as you can see here. Yeah, wasn't that good. Um, Keanu Reeves is a perfect choice for Shadow. His tone of voice fits well. I still personally was hoping for Hayden Christensen, but I can accept this. He sounds like Shadow and he isn't Chris Pratt, so we all win. Here's what I didn't like. First of all, there wasn't a single wedding scene. We can't accept that. How would- how do they expect to make their money back without a wedding scene? No one's gonna watch it. All the parents are gonna be asleep. This game, this movie is dead in the water if there is no wedding scene. Mark my word. The jokes in the trailer felt very out of place. I understand in an actual movie, it's going to be spaced out. It's it's not like it's going to be constant jokes, but that trailer felt mostly jokes. Even in the serious situations, like when they confront Shadow, you know, it's... it's mm. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate humour, but it gets to a point when they're kind of hamming everything up just a little bit too much. Eggman working together with Team Sonic. Why? He's obviously gonna turn on them, but he only worked with them in the original at the last second. To put that as a major element in the first trailer does not inspire hope. To add on to that, if we don't get City Escape, I hate these people. There's definitely no Rouge, there's definitely no Amy, which is really disappointing. Rouge would have worked with Gun and added a bit more dimension, if that's the right word, to the overall plot. Also, I really would have liked to see both of them in this movie. It just, it doesn't feel like a right adaptation of Sonic Adventure 2 without the two. There is also seemingly no Space Colony arc. So I have the feeling that everything's just gonna be on Earth, which is a little bland. I don't need it to be one-to-one, -one, but goddamn, just adapt the goddamn story somewhat, you know? Like, just, why is Gerald alive? Why? What is that? Did you do it just for the comic relief scene in the trailer where he meets his father? Is that really, is, is that all it should be? I'm pretty damn sure that this just means there's gonna be no execution scene, which, if you're a Sonic fan, is kind of disappointing. Obviously, I just watched the trailer. It came out about two hours ago, so my negative uh, negativity is perhaps misplaced, but that is genuinely how I feel. I, I wrote everything everything down, you know? Um, my thoughts about this are really fresh, which is why maybe I'll feel differently tomorrow, but right now, I do want to know if there's some kind of shared feeling from you, the viewer. Like, am I being a bit I don't feel like I'm being a bitch in regards to this. Nevertheless, I can forgive all of that if the movie ends with, yes, a wedding scene. But mainly, uh, Sonic and Shadow in space. Uh, their super forms facing off against a disgusting, deformed space lizard. I think if that isn't what we get at the end, 
it's gonna be kind of disappointing. I get that it's a movie universe and then it can't be one-to-one -one with what the games are, but that doesn't mean it needs to not be like that, you know? Like, it, it, there's nothing wrong with taking elements of the actual game that you're adapting, especially if stupid ass video uh, cough. But what I'm trying to say is if you're adapting Sonic Adventure 2, do it right. At the end of the day, this is only a slice of the full movie, but I can't lie, it did deflate my hype just a little bit. I can't judge the whole movie just from this, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna be a, an adaptation of Sonic Adventure. It feels more like it's gonna be the typical Sonic movie affair, except this time Shadow's gonna be the villain. I guess I just wanted more than that. It is too early to tell, and I am excited to see how the movie will eventually turn out. Let's go back to the reaction.